I want to tell a story about a guy that crossed into my life for a period of time. A family member of mine married this guy. My family member lost their mother and he lost his mother. So they could relate to each other and they could comfort each other because they both shared that same pain of losing their mother. Both of these people, my family member and the guy that she married, were very Christian, very into the church. This guy, his entire body was tattooed in religious iconography, Christian stuff, Bible verses, Jesus, all of these uh, Christian icons and all of this Christian tattooing. And um, they became pa they became pastors. My family member and him, they became preachers at their church. My family member was submerged into this church ever since she was a young girl. She was friendly with the pastor, their kids. It's a mega church. The church was their identity. They were very into their faith. Fifteen years later, he comes to the church one day and says he's gay. And he's preaching to his congregation. He has a shirt on that says, F God. And he tells the people that he's been preaching to for all of these years. That he hates them. He never liked them. He's been pretending to be a Christian this whole time. He's really been gay. And he's finally liberated. And he's happy that he can finally tell them how he truly feels about them. And that was a dramatic exit. And he left my family member. And went to his boyfriend in New York and I assume they're married and when this happened I was very surprised I was very shocked this person this guy always used to try to get me to come to church I actually went one time and he tried to lay hands on me and get me to say this uh, try to basically get me to commit to be a Christian and he was going to be my guide but I never really was into religion I respect religious people I don't bash religion I, I allow people to do what they want to do that's my mindset but this guy was championed. His congregation loved him. Particular members of my family liked him because he was a young, hip guy with all these tattoos. But he wasn't a thug. He was a Christian. And they just had this idea that all young people should be like him. And when he made that dramatic exit and told the congregation that he was gay. And I heard about this on a phone call. I called. I was talking to a family member. And I said, hey, what's up with the guy? I haven't heard from him, or, or how's he doing? I mean, I don't have a relationship with him, but, you know, I'll ask, how's he doing? How's my family member who's married to him doing? And uh, a family member told me, well, he's with his boyfriend. And I'm like, it's like a ton of bricks hit me. I'm like, wow. I mean, I'm not close to the family member who's married to him, but still, you know, it's like, so you're basically telling me that he came out as gay, did that dramatic exit at the church, and now he's with a boyfriend in New York and going to marry him. And he left my family member. Half family member. Half sibling. Whatever. And I never heard anything about it. Everything just went to normal. My family member left that church. Started going to another church. And I can I understand why. You, you mean, a lot of people have a lot of questions. You know, this guy's been around for 15 years. And you mean to tell me he's been gay? And it's, and it's something that's profound. I don't know... Like I said, I'm not religious. I don't spend a lot of time at church. I have certain members of my family are, and I respect it. But at the same time, things like this, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like sharing this because I just, um, it's just he was pretending the whole time because he needed to get on his feet. You know, he seen the church and my family member was an opportunity to get on his feet. And once he got financially in a good position, he decided to, be his true self and drop the facade and it's always stood out to me as such a weird moment in my life I remember being at the church one day and he invited me and I went just to be nice I didn't I knew I wasn't going to go back and I just went to be nice because at this time I was still trying to salvage some type of relationship with my uh with this family member who I didn't know much but I was just at that point I figured hey I should have a relationship with her and I figured if they're Christians and that's what they do, I'll go to church one time with the heck. And when I went, he tried to lay hands on me. And then, you know, to find out that he came out as gay and he cussed out his congregation, said, F you guys, I never liked you guys, I've been pretending the whole time. I'm so happy I can finally be liberated from you freaks. And had a t-shirt on that said, F God. I just felt like, wow, that says it all. 
that says it all. It's a lot of repression in church. People who have grown up deeply submerged into Christian culture, people who are whose identities are based on their church, have a tendency to repress themselves, and they create these psychological problems for them. It creates these psychological problems for them, and it leads to situations like this. And I know a lot more people who are in the church world have experienced things like this. And, you know, for me, being on the outside looking in, it's like, it's just such a shock to me because it's just like, wow, I wonder how many more people are, are repressing who they are just because they want to blend into this church world. You know, it can't be just him. And he was a pastor, a, a bishop. I mean, not a bishop, but a pastor, a preacher. Life is crazy.